Earlier today, I received a phone call from the Prime Minister, and he said that he wanted me to know that he was thinking lots about us during this most turbulent week for Israel and the Jewish people. How truly heartwarming when Israel found itself isolated from foes and allies alike. There was one voice of morality, a voice of justice that refused to be silenced. And that voice is the voice of our country, Australia, under the stellar leadership of our Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, and his Foreign Minister, Julia Bishop. The miracle of Hanukkah, which commemorates the power of a single candle, of a single jug of oil, the victory of the few over the many, of the spirit over might. And when our forefathers ignited the menorah in the temple, they were standing not on occupied territory then, and the people of Israel are not standing on occupied territory now. <laughs> Prime Minister, Israel and the Jewish community have a true friend in you and Lucy. Israel and the Jewish world see you as a true leader. We could not possibly imagine our nation, Australia, the most successful multicultural society in the world. It could not ever have been done without the extraordinary, indelible, irreplaceable contribution of the Jewish people. And I want to say about the events of this week, which have been deeply unsettling, I know. Let me say this and restate, Australia stands shoulder to shoulder with Israel in the fight against terrorism. We support Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East. But above all, I think we are celebrating and honoring the extraordinary resilience and determination of the Jewish people in the face of the darkest adversities face of the most impossible challenges. We will never let those who seek to do us harm, who hate our way of life, to divide us or cause us to change the way we live. Shabbat Shalom, Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah Sameh. It's wonderful to be here tonight.